Hello friends, so this video is going to cover about the practical examples related to the unit 3 advanced query techniques. So this unit 3 is a part of our report design part 2 course. So the concepts related to the combined queries, sub queries and multiple data sources which I have already covered. Uh, that video link is available in this video description. I recommend you go through that video first. So let's start with an example. Uh, so the first first thing is means we wanted to sh uh, create a combined query based on the product lines uh, which has uh, separate colors and uh, then uh, quantity sold is greater than 450. So let's take an, a new document with the e fashion universe. Uh, I will select uh, product lines as an a result objects and uh, I'll just say color is uh, applying a filter for the color. Uh, so I'll just say color is equal to values from list so it is let's say an is and if i say i just run this query so these four records come up so now i'll just go back to just to create a combined query so how we can create a combined query so if you see this icon which is a plus icon with the double circles here if you see if we click on this i can create a combined query see so this is the operator means um, I can change it from union to intersection or uh, minus like that. For now, I'll just uh, select union. Now, if you see, uh, I wanted to. So this is a, again means if you see for combined query one and query two, both uh, results objects are the same. Only thing is means for combined query, the results objects must be same every time. So there, there must it will throw an error if there are uh, if you go to add uh, try to add. Uh, separate objects or it will get added to the both the queries okay so for combined query uh, two i i'll just add one uh, two filters which is required there uh, so color i will add as uh, is equal to coffee color okay and i will add one more filter there uh, that quantity uh, sold is greater than uh, 450 okay so so that what i wanted to uh, add means the uh, one query will give the results with the only uh, anis color uh, product lines and the other uh, uh, query will give the results related to the coffee color product lines with the quantity sold greater than 450 so this is what I wanted to achieve means if I run this query see means this 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 these many results are there means for which the quantity is there means so let me add a color as well means just to it's a color uh, for both of the colors, this is the way means uh, it will give the data. Now, uh, one more thing which I wanted to uh, show you means if I change it to uh, union or intersection. So what happens in union means so it will take the data from both of the queries. In um, in intersection, it will take the data either from one or two means whatever the conditions means uh, matches. See means so whatever the data common in uh, both the queries that will be taken in uh, intersection and in minus only data from the first query minus query one so whatever the data related to the n is color will be displayed if we apply minus if you see so this is the use of combined queries and let's uh, go to the sub queries means how we can add a sub queries let's um, uh, take an example let's uh, I will just delete uh, this sub query for now okay so to add a sub query let's see means uh, margin uh, lines uh, lines I, I will uh, sh show in a results objects and uh, for margin uh, what I'll do, I'll just put that in this uh, query filters. So, 
I'll just remove this mess. I'll show you mess how how we can add a sub query. Lines and margin. This is the uh, data which I wanted to display in a results objects. To add a sub query, I just selected margin and then I'll just click on this icon. If you see, this is icon which is related to the adding sub query. Once I add it, you see my margin is in list margin. So what I'll select means I will select it is greater than. So what is it means? I will uh, add lines objects here uh, to have in a where condition where line is okay so i'll just select means uh, this is So this is what it it is doing means so I'll just delete this see means margin is greater than uh, margin which is where lines is so I, I, I would drop a margin here all greater than where lines is in list or is equal to what I'll select okay so what this means it means I wanted to have the margins to be displayed where the condition is like that means take the margin where the lines products are of sweaters so um, for that purpose I will use the sub query means see means it will add the filter means is Martin margin is greater than margin of uh, lines or products where uh, it is equal to sweaters and I'll just click on run query see means it's lines and margin see so whatever the uh, product lines which are having sweaters uh, margin greater than the for, uh, means margin is available for that particular sweaters uh, product that will be displayed here so this is the use of uh, sub query means we can add means how how we can add means we can add a sub query from this icon if you want to um, delete then we can just uh, uh, click on this uh, to remove or we can just hit the delete option here okay so this is all about uh, sub query uh, coming to uh, let me close this so now uh, i will uh, come to the multiple data sources how we can uh, have the multiple data sources uh, changing means why the multiple data sources means suppose uh, there is a data source which I want to uh, change its source like suppose means I'm moving a data source from development to QA or from QA to production environment so that at that time uh, I need to change the source of the data uh, data source or data provided for that purpose I uh, I can use a data source so let's suppose this is one report which is for year and sales revenue. I'll just run this query. So now uh, year and sales revenue is this um, dimension and measure. So suppose this is in a development and I just wanted to move this report or this document to the production, but the data source is um, um, is pointing to uh, development uh, universe but I wanted to uh, point it to the production in uh, universe for that purpose how we can do this so for that purpose I need to go to this uh, data mode see so this is e fashion so now how we can uh, change this uh, mm -hmm. data source go to the data access in tools tab there is an option to change source so I'll just click on this change source see now means existing universe or means specify a new universe whatever if you want means you can take it from here or if there is an existing universe then suppose I am taking it from universe so, so this is this is the universe which is pointing to the production database so I select that 
now once i select it means i can click on it next this is the available strategies means what are the it is same name or removal I means then what is the order same id same technical name same path closest name this is i'll just for now will keep as default uh, this is going to be I means as per the business need what all we we need to consider click on next see means now if you see current year and sales are uh, two objects which are available in the current universe that means we can say it is a development universe and in the new it will is having new year and sales revenue there may be some different objects if, if there is any such design in the universe so at that time you need to specify the uh, objects names here properly see year will map to the year and sales revenue will map to the sales revenue so once i map this i just need to select this and just finish it so this is done means it is pointed to the production uh, universe now i can just run it and uh, let's go to the reading mode so it will give the data means whatever uh, the data is there based on the data which is available in the production so now this document is pointing to the production so this is how we can uh, deploy the changes uh, to production it means we can change the data source so this is all about combined queries or sub queries and uh, changing the data source if you have any questions then please put it in uh, comment section i will be happy to answer it and then if you have any um, other suggestions uh, then I'll, please let me know as well and if you if you like my video then please uh, like my video please subscribe to my channel as well so that you will get to know about the new uh, videos which are coming uh, on my youtube channel thank you for watching my video